Three years ago, a woman in Taichung made the conscious choice of stop generating so much garbage. She was tired of her daily routine of taking plastic bags, disposable chopsticks, and takeout boxes, only to throw them out a few hours later. And she saw for herself the enormity of the toll that man-made garbage was taking on the environment. Since making that decision three years ago, Lu Jialing has applied her trashless philosophy to every aspect of her life, from the way she shops to how she runs her pet shop business. She has also helped build a growing community of individuals who want to do their part for the environment. Tonight, in our Sunday special report, we pay a visit to her zero-waste world and see how she's been able to cut out the clutter of modern life. She comes with her own containers, taking a pass on plastic bags and other disposables all along her shopping trip. This is Olu, who lives in Taichung. She's practiced a lifestyle of zero waste for three years now. As she shops for produce, her husband, Xiao Jun Yen, picks up breakfast. Three years ago, Lu had noticed someone bring reusable containers to a breakfast shop. Inspired, she and her husband started to do the same. Later, she volunteered to clean beaches and saw for herself the massive amount of waste scattered in the sand. That marked the beginning of her zero-waste life, and she hasn't looked back since. Two people who eat takeout will throw out at least six paper meal boxes every day, plus plastic bags, three of them, and two sets of utensils and straws at least. In their everyday lives, she and her husband have taken measures to reduce their waste production. At the end of this week, all she has in her garbage can are two pieces of unrecyclable thermal paper and some pieces of plastic removed from double-sided tape. Even in their use of toiletries, she and her husband keep it to the bare minimum. On the third floor, we have a toilet fitted with a bidet. On the first floor, there's a hose. So when we use the toilet, we don't need toilet paper, just a towel. One thing I did from the start is, you know women have menstrual cycles and we use sanitary napkins. So I started using menstrual cups and cloth sanitary napkins. Lou and a group of friends buy household necessities like baking soda in bulk and then divide it up in reusable containers. Their group has been growing. Lou and her husband run a pet store that has become something of an exchange center. Her friends joke that she is the zero waste evangelist. Lou and her husband have seven cats. Eight years ago, they started a business that sells pet supplies and offering boarding for cats. Their zero-waste lifestyle has made its mark on the lives of their cats. Our cats eat a raw food diet. The reason we produce so little garbage as pet owners is that we make everything ourselves. Placing the frozen meat on a pan and warming it up a little bit in the microwave is all she needs to do to whip up a feline feast. Her household eschews canned and packaged cat food to reduce its garbage production. Not only that, the couple's pet shop has stopped offering plastic bags of cat litter as part of a campaign to curtail waste. Liu and her husband Xiao rent out an unused car repair garage in Zhanghua, where they keep their stock of biodegradable cat litter. Every two days, Xiao fills up green containers with cat litter. These buckets were collected online or were collected from our friends with cats. There are also some that we picked up from recycling centers. At present, we have about 1,000 buckets in circulation. We use them over and over again. As much as they are able to, they avoid selling products with disposable packaging. Keeping the store profitable has been difficult, and it was only recently that demand for eco-friendly cat litter rose enough to help the business break even. This is an agricultural cooperative near Donghai University. Since 2015, the land has been leased out to a group of families living near the local elementary school. These families wanted their children to be able to experience nature, and they often host ecological education activities here. Liu comes here each week to teach a class, and to add used cat litter from home to the compost pile. This farmer's co-op is committed to the precepts of zero waste and sustainability. 
Even the chickens don't eat packaged feed. They get leafy vegetables from home. If there's any rice in the house or any leftover bread, you can bring it over for the chickens. We have never purchased chicken feed. It's a potluck dinner here at the Taichung branch of the Homemakers United Foundation, and all the dishes sit inside reusable containers. The team has gathered to discuss an upcoming event at a market where they will promote ways to fight plastic pollution. This meeting was called by none other than Liu, the zero waste evangelist. Jialing encouraged many young volunteers to join. We feel that there have been many new ideas coming in. These friends are all like me. They are people who want to do right by the environment. Slowly but surely, Liu has realized a life of zero waste and united people from all walks of life. She and her close-knit community use their most ordinary daily decisions to bring about a green revolution.